Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential prob math problem, which is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 16 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. So what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. We have 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to two. This is equal to sixteen, which you can express as two to the power of four raised to the power of two raised to the power of x. Now we have that two to the power of four raised to the power of two raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So let's apply this exponent property so that now we have 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Now we have that 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. We have that 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is not the same as 4 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. Now, from here, we have 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, then exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that n is equal to m. So this means that 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 4 times 2 to the power of x. The next step is that we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 4, which is 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of x. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of x. This is again in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Which, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x. Now, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, this is again in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n times m. So let's apply this property. Now we have 2 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x. Now we have 2 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x. Now since again the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, then exponent n is equal to m. So now from what you have here, we have that 2x is equal to 2 plus x. Now, let's take x on the left hand side, so that we have 2x minus x. This is equal to 2. So 2x minus x, this is equal to x, and x is equal to 2. We have that x is equal to 2. So this is the value of x. The next step is to verify. Let's check if this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of x, this is supposed to be equal to 
16 to the power of 2 to the power of x. So let's substitute the value of x so that we have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2. This should be equal to 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, we can express 16. Remember, this is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to, this should be equal to 16, which is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2. Now, from what we have here, this is 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2. And this is should be equal to 2 to the power of, now this is raised to the power of 4 times 2 raised to the power of 2. So this is 2 to the power of, this is 4 raised to the power of 2, 4 squared, this is equal to 16. So we have 2 to the power of 16, this is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 which is 4. So we have 2 to the power of 16. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 4 which is equal to 16. So it's clear that the left add side is equal to the right add side. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this clearly shows that the value of x which is equal to 2 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe.